ruffles. My favorite part about making ruffles is the preparatory steps, ripping fabric. I take my muslin and on the selvage edge create little snips every two to three inches that I will use to rip the strips that I will ruffle. If I've never ripped the fabric before, that first piece of ripped fabric has a cut edge and a ripped edge. And I don't want to use that when I make ruffles, so I'll toss it aside. I like to have soft edges on both sides when I create ruffles. I'm going to rip at the next snip, and that'll be my first ruffle ready to go. All those loose strings, I just wrap them around my hand lightly, and you can toss them aside. And there's our first strip, ready to be ruffled. Now if you're using muslin that's 44 inches wide, you'll need to rip somewhere between 8 and 10 strips. No harm in making more if you want. If your muslin is 90 inches or 120 inches wide, you'll need around 4 to 6 strips. And again, no harm in making more. So continue to rip the fabric until you have the number of strips needed to create ruffles. Ripping fabric is really great to do when you're having a bad day. The sound of ripping fabric is very cathartic. There we have it. Strips ready to create ruffles. You can use your standard presser foot to create ruffles. Typically I would use both white on the top and white in the bobbin when I create ruffles to go on my girl. But for the demo I've loaded black thread so you can see the stitching. Set your machine to have a long stitch length and make sure that your feed dogs are up if you're using your standard presser foot. And basically so a straight line all the way along the edge of the ruffle. Do not back tack at either end. Once you've completed sewing, snip off your threads and it's time to begin gathering the fabric. On one edge of the fabric, grab one of the threads and begin to pull the fabric gently along that thread. If the thread that you pick doesn't let you really pull and gather the fabric along it, pull the other thread. And as you can see, the fabric starts to gather as I slide it along the thread that I'm holding in place. Continue to pull the fabric along the thread until you have ruffles that are as dense as you would like them. I like mine very dense. Once I've got everything ruffled or gathered to my desired ruffliness, I'm going to stitch over the ruffles to lock them in place. When I stitch over them, I do decrease my stitch length to somewhere around a two to three, and you can back tack when you stitch over your gathered ruffles. And there we have it. We have a ruffle strip ready to go on our girl. And again, if you were doing this for your girl, you'd use white thread instead of black. Now, if you want to try ruffling with a ruffling foot, this is a ruffling foot. It is a large piece of metal and plastic that allows you to control how frequently your machine will tuck fabric to create a gather and how deep it will tuck the fabric as it does so. This foot is set up so that it will snap onto the regular arm that holds my feet in place. Consult the manual for how to install the ruffling foot on your machine. Once everything's in place, I have to make sure that the needle is going to fall in the tiny little hole that's on my foot. And then I'm going to line up the fabric with one of the guides on the ruffling foot so that it will keep a consistent edge as I stitch. I've got everything lined up and I'm going to let it push through a little bit and I'm going to begin to stitch. I have the ruffling foot set up so that it's going to create a gather with every stitch. What I really like about using a ruffling foot is that I don't have to stop and pull the fabric out. I can just push through another strip. So in this case, I've pushed through two different strips to create ruffles. So there is my ruffling strip. What I like about using a ruffling foot is because the foot is pushing the fabric in to create the gather, it makes a very nice flat edge and I don't have to 
sew over the ruffle again. This ruffled strip is ready to go. Play with the ruffling foot. Figure out the setting that you like best to create ruffles that are just as roughly as you would like them. And now I'm going to change to white thread and just create miles of ruffles.